uproar in the Call of Duty community. Should we, should we watch this? What does RAT stand for? We're just gonna watch the whole thing. Awesome tactics. On Warzone 2 shipment, I came around the corner right here at the shotgun and eliminated the streamer that was standing right here. I was laying right here and I just waited for the enemy to come around that corner. Oh god, you're such a big <laughs> macho. There was an unopened crate right here and I just laid in front of it and waited for an enemy. Fucking rat, man. On Warzone 1 Caldera shipment, I was laying right here behind these barrels and waited for an enemy to come in. Oh my gosh, there's such a little rat! I sat in that corner right there with a the riot shield and I placed two claymores right here. <laughs> Dude, it's just... <laughs> I was standing right here on a Warfare 2 shipment <laughs> and I literally had a streamer with a fire shotgun right there. You are such a f What the f is that? I sat right in this corner with the fire shotgun. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? On Modern Warfare 2019 shipment, I had a Jack 12 right here. <laughs> you better f And then I wrapped around this corner and eliminated him again. <laughs> So I killed six people on Nuketown with the Street Sweeper. The first guy I killed was standing right here. Dude, and this the is. The second one was right here, sitting in a corner. Oh my god. Oh no! The third guy I killed was in the garage right here. The fourth one was trying to run down the alleyway right here. The fifth guy was right here, sitting in the corner. And then if you come around this side of the house, I killed the sixth guy sitting in the corner right there. Oh my god, dude. You're using an OP. Shotgun, bro. The next round comes and I eliminate a guy right here on the edge of the bus. Oh, what the f? Two of the most hated and the most popular strategies in Warzone that have been going head to head since Dude. 2020 are the rat and the sweat. The rat began its rise of power in Warzone release in 2020 and has seen evolution with each integration over the years. But the <laughs> Dude, this, this, this image kills me. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, dude, this is. <laughs> oh. Bro, this picture is so good. Only oh, move my camera. <laughs> oh. Each integration over the years, but the sweat? The sweat has reached de evolution with Warzone 2. How exactly? The nerf to fast movement. It this literally. change has caused an uproar in the Call of Duty community. We have movement tactics in the game which are absolutely pointless. Oh, there's no they movement in this game. The fluidity of the slide is non existent. The sliding feature has been a staple in the last like four Call of Duties, and it was so smooth in so many of them, even without the whole slide canceling. Bro, you could just slide. And that's the thing, like, you don't see people in Apex going, like, oh, you're. You know, you're tab strafing and, and, you know, like, you're just sweaty. But I don't think people are really in, an, like, an uproar to be like, you need to get this out of the game. It's a movement mechanic, bro. Like, it's Overwatch has them. Like, there's all sorts of things you do to maximize your movement, to, to be better and to be the best, you know? And, and it's not necessarily using, you know, like, uh, like, what the, what the fuck am I looking for? Like, um... Like, taking advantage of, like, broken things. Like, dude, slide canceling is the easiest thing ever. If you didn't know how to slide cancel, I don't know what to tell you. You know? It's the same thing as, like, Apex, dude. I I'm sure that if I practice, I can learn to tap strafe. I don't get upset at people when they when they tap strafe me or they're fucking wall balancing or whatever the shit that is. You know? I'm just like, damn, dude. Like, they're fucking cracked. Because if you're looking to play a game, especially in a content perspective, like, you can either be funny or you can just be really, really good. And so if you're going to put the time in to be really, really good, they're going to do a lot of things that you can't do, and they're going to do things that you're doing, but way better. And, like, you shouldn't be upset at somebody for practicing. Like, they're trying to be the best. Everybody wants to be the best. Well, actually, some people don't even care that they're not the best. Some people just want to play. But some people are chasing to be the best. It's like an actual goal. So I don't, I don't understand why people are like, oh, I can't swing. Like, dude, just learn it. Learn how to slide cancel, you know, or get better at aiming. I don't tell you. Slide and shoot at the Nora, what up? Was incredible. You can't even do that now. Let's compare the movement in Warzone One. Sliding in the current Call of Duty is useless. It it actually hinders you from playing the game, because you slide and then it's like you have like two seconds before you can even fight or fire your weapon anymore. Warzone 2. First, let's look at Warzone 1's movement. So they haven't updated this part of the map yet in real life, but right over there where that green is, when I actually killed a streamer there by breaking his ankle. Dude. What the fuck? All right, and this is, uh, go this is the person, okay? This is the person that gets upset at the slide canceling, right? This man just got off of his, like, 15-hour shift, 
okay? He probably does power lines or something. Like, he's been gone for weeks. He just got home, and he wants to play Call of Duty, and this happened. And he's like, dude, I'm done. So, like, this is the player that has issues with it. And, like, rightfully so. Like, it, it's very difficult to sit down and just play COD, I guess. But at the same time, it's like, so what? Do you just prevent everybody from being good around you? You know what I mean? Like, you can't do that. You just can't do that. But th this is the player. You know, sitting back, chilling on the couch. You know, uh, I guess I'll go live. Right? The new one, I couldn't do anything. I just never slide. You have better chances dolphin diving. You really do. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't like often that you encountered somebody going like this hard. Okay. Like you had people that slide canceled and like sli like were sliding around doors and corners and shit, but not like like this is an insane effect. We all know that skill-based matchmaking isn't really working that well. They should do it. Uh, what they should do is take hours played and put those people with the higher amount of hours played in lobbies with other players of same consistency. So guys that work uh, nine to fives or twelve-hour shifts or whatever that just want to drink a beer and play the game will play against guys that work the same hours and are trying to do the same thing. I mean, you definitely could, you know, put like casual players with casual, but or you implement a rank system that we've been asking for. And then you're playing against people of similar rank. Like, because I wouldn't, I don't play pubs. In any game that has a rank, I just don't play casual. I only play ranked. You know, and I understand that sometimes pubs gets more sweaty then. But like, I don't know. Just go play ranked. And if you're a bronze player, you're going to go against other bronze players. If you're a, uh, uh, a gold player, but like, I don't know. I don't know. But dude, I miss this speed. I miss this play style so much. Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019 ask players why they weren't playing Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, and here are their answers. Movement. Movement in Modern Warfare 2 is shit. Movement. Better movement. You can slide cancel. No, I hate the movement, bro. It's way too fucking slow. You can't slide cancel. Movement. Black Ops movement better. I just didn't like the slow gameplay. Movement. It has no movement. In 2022, a new genre of creators are getting rapid attention just simply for their movement in Modern Warfare and Warzone. Zone. But with the new Warzone having no movement, these creators are vanishing one by one. Alongside movement getting a huge nerf in Warzone 2, snipers also got a huge nerf. Throughout the evolution of Warzone... Oh, don't even get me started on the snipers. This is so stupid. Like... it's It just makes no sense of why... Uh, and there's no payoff to sniping. Like, there really isn't. One, there was always a sniper that was good. Whether it was the car 90 AK... What the dude? Like, dude, Whoa! clean. Hey, hey, hold on. Picking camper. The Swiss K31, the three line rifle. Phase up. Hell yeah. <laughs> and many other snipers. There was always a sniper that was reliable and amazing to use. But in Warzone 2, not a single sniper in the game can one shot. Just like creators basing their content on movement, there is a huge fan base for sniping content in Warzone, which has seen a huge decline since Warzone 2 launched. On top of those two things, there's like no footstep audio in Warzone 2. And on top of that, Rebirth Island was removed. <laughs> Dude, I think it's so funny that he goes to these places. No one shots bullshit. Oh. Just saw a TikTok this morning about the headshots on the new Warzone and headshots not hitting one shot. No, they don't. They they don't. I got it. I'll fuck your ass. Get a life, bro. Damn little bit. Bro, what kind of gun you got? You got the fucking rat. That's the way. But the rat, the rat is thriving in Warzone 2. There were a handful of shotguns that caused chaos in Warzone 1. Like the R90 Dragon Breath. What the fuck? He's a Dude, this stupid gun. Ah! Fucking shotgun. 
Oh no 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 no! The Jack 12, the Gallo SA12, the dual wheel double. Dude, the Gallo. The Gallo was like my favorite. Barrel shotgun, November 8th, 2021 at 3.22 p.m. What were you doing? I was playing Warzone, right? You were playing Call of Duty Vanguard. Do you know who you were playing Vanguard with? Oh, dude, these are the Akimbo 1887s, bro. These things are different. Oh, my God. He killed everyone with them, dude. He literally just killed everyone with them. I would assume I was playing with the Doc two times. Oh, is this Z laner? Like, kind of desperate desperation. I'm going to show you one more image that might jog your mind a little better. This was your weapon. You slammed all three of us with a double barrel shotgun. This guy Hunter TV is just putting on a oh fucking God. show right now with these. No, he's, he's desperate, man. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there goes the win streak. Guys. I'm blocking him, actually. <laughs> oh my God. So I got you a gift, and this is me making dues with you for the incident. I got you a Orion Master Camo <laughs> mug. I appreciate that. And the most infamous shotgun of all time in Warzone 1, the Street Sweeper. Dude. There's no fucking way. What were you doing January? But to, so even then, like, this time to kill doesn't look like that bad. Like, I know we're, we're, you're looking at, like, infamous shotgun of all every time gun. The, here's the issue, is every the gun, every gun in Modern Warfare 2 right now kills as fast. Almost every single one. There's no like every gun kills that fast. Back then that was broken. Now it's just common. Like every gun does that. What are you doing January 8th, 2021? January 8th, 2021. Oh he pushed, he pushed, he pushed, he pushed. No, what? On fing real. Kidding me? You turned around and then TP. Here, let me give you Except the snipers. True, true, true. Correction. Picture that might help you. Does okay. this ring a bell? Superstar. Do you have some clip on me where you killed me? Does this ring a bell? I hated people who use. Is that a street sweeper? Did you use the street sweeper against me? Oh, it's four in there. It's four in there. Don't go in there. There's four. It's four. I got you a gift. <laughs> oh, thank you. Black Ops Cold War to remind me of the street sweeper. Warzone 2 is a shotgun that is, that is so funny. Sweeper. The KV broadside. This shotgun has to be the most devastating shotgun in Warzone history. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. I need help. I need help. I need help. Akuma. Fuck. Stupid right shield. Fuck, bro. Why does that shit have so much range? This shit has hell. Range. Oh, that shotgun is mad annoying. Oh my gosh, dude! No way. Wow, with that. Oh, what? Go back on that mierda, bro. Right and shoddy, right? So annoying. Gunsmith looks incredible. I think it provides a really seamless experience for players looking to build out the perfect weapon for a multitude of play styles. Yo, Crispy, what you want? I got an underbelt grenade launcher on my shotgun. Oh, you Oh my uh, God. It's all to hit this vision, I'm gonna make the perfect weapon for me. I just put an underbell shotgun on my shotgun. I got two options for you right now. You wanna die to the underbell shotgun or the main barrel shotgun? Ooh. Do I wanna die to the underbell or the main barrel? <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I just <laughs> sat there and let him talk to me. He said, I got two options for you. Do you want to die to the underbarrel shotgun or the up barrel shotgun? I got no chance. Another top two That's so funny. Like a pack is the Bryson 890. Now, when you come into making a sequel, it can be kind of tricky. What do you keep from the previous game? What do you get rid of? Hi, guys. I'm a developer here at Infinity Ward. Essentially, we are getting rid of side canceling from Modern Warfare 2019, but we are adding more anime shotguns just like Modern Warfare 2019 had. <laughs> You're so fucking ass, Hunter. I want you to know that. Ride some of the shotguns. No. Ride shield guy, bro. I'm gonna lose over the place. Where's your fucking loser, bro? What the fuck is that shit? Dude, this is so funny. Get one. The Expedite 12 feels and sounds amazing when you're using it. Oh, being chilling. Oh, being chilling. Oh, no. 
hey, they d just don't forget, right? Thank God we can't one tap with a sniper, but stuns still just prevent you from playing the game for 10 seconds. Shotguns can still fucking just annihilate you. Hey, bravo. Bravo. I'd much rather just get stun locked in a fucking cubicle and get four dudes just annihilating the shit of my ass than uh, one tap by somebody sniping from a hill. You're right. This is way better. This is way better. You know, th this experience? This experience is way better. This is way better right here. This one. This is way better. Yeah. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network which helps you keep your online profile more safe and secure. All information is sent as encrypted data and from a changed IP address. I use Surfshark VPN when I'm traveling in order to protect my data from big companies and cyber criminals. Or when I'm traveling but I want to access movie or TV streaming content that is otherwise unavailable to the US due to geo restrictions. Traveling safely is a must and is the Anime best Anime shot is hilarious, dude. Masking your IP address is essential to becoming private online and it's important to use a VPN so that your city, country, and download history aren't linked in your identity. With Surfshark's clean web feature, I can block ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. This Dang. Be safely no matter where I am. If you are absolutely terrible at Warzone or want to drop 30 eliminations with the literal worst weapon known to man to clickbait a YouTube video, get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deal slash hunter TV. Enter promo code hunter TV for 83% off and a three extra months for free. Surfshark First thing, if you can take down a juggernaut, you should be able to take down a riot shield or after you put a certain amount of shells in it, a certain amount of round. Dude, riot shield should break. I need money. I need money for loadout. Loadout money. Parker. Parker. Oh my god. Also the most fun to use against others. Dude, the Cali sticks. You a bitch, motherfucker. Yeah, dude, the riot shield should have health. Or like Tina just said, be a field upgrade. I think a field upgrade could be pretty cool. You know? But like, I don't understand why riot shields can just take everything. Like, you can stare up at a pred missile and block it. Dude, it makes no sense. Such a f He's I'll find a proper use for this. God, you're Bless this person for putting in the effort to make COD look fun. Dude, Noodle, welcome in. Good morning. And this is a hilarious fucking video. Bro. You're a f Sucker, bro. I brought all my toys today. You're fucking dog shit, bitch. Literally the worst player in the fucking game. Came looking for death. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am unstoppable. You're the biggest. <laughs> See, this, uh, this is more annoying than anything in Call of Duty. The Riot Shield Cali sticks, or just Riot Shield melee shit were the most annoying thing to ever exist in Call of Duty. I think hands down. Okay. Let's get this done. You're weird, boy. Go outside. In Warzone 2, the dual Kadachis are the most fun melee weapon you could use. Strength flows through me. To the Genji audio. Into your blade. <laughs> You faced many great challenges in your youth back in Verdansk that shaped the warrior you have become. What the fuck? What is on me? Today is your victory over a lesser man. <laughs> Which guy is that? Kadachi? Frick you, dude. Wow. Violated by you with katanas and a riot shield. Katana man, what the fuck? The fuck? The knife is also a great one. Yo, he literally just has a knife and a riot shield. Ah, oh, where? The ultimate rat weapon that has been around since Warzone 1 is the riot shield. As long as I'm yep. in the car looking in the direction of the enemy in front of you, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, poor guy, dude. Rat. What? Like, you have a riot shield. This guy has a fucking riot shield in there. He has a riot shield. Oh my fucking head, bro. Jumping right here to a fucking riot shield, man. The only rat weapon category that has died after Warzone 1 is the rocket launcher. Oh, God. <laughs> they were.
<laughs> Dude, I love the doc so much, bro. One. You literally can't. What a bitch. In Warzone 2, they are just flat out terrible. Now let's talk about the lethals and tacticals. In Warzone 1, you could use claymores that allowed you to camp the hardest. Cross the claymore! Cross the claymore! My god, imagine being that bad. Oh my god. Cross the claymore! Claymore, bitch. I was able to sit in a corner while my claymores protected the door, which allowed me to build a beautiful house in Minecraft. Sky. These claymores were able <laughs> oh, to protect no. me while I cooked ratatouille in the kitchen. <laughs> A meal. Ratatouille style. While playing the game. Actually making ratatouille. Ratatouille aside, up here. They're cooking ratatouille. You could do the same exact thing in Warzone 2. Brought to Brought to <laughs> okay, I... Oh, oh okay. Mutex. Bro, you guys are a bunch of bitches camping on here, bro. You're mad as fuck. Ah, you f suck, you f suck. Ah, you suck. Ah. Hunter TV. Brought to Mutex, you're about to run into the sex. Oh shit, the whole team. Oh my, oh my god, no way we're getting caught by one guy. Dude, that is so funny. Stuns in Warzone 1 were absolutely elite. Go for it, go for it. Let me think. He's done, he's done, he's done. Dude, stuns were so bad. Such a they are just as great in Warzone 2. Bro, it's not Oh, are you fucking kidding me? But in Warzone 2, you can hold over eight stun grenades at once. Bro, it's not 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 You play for Riot Shield, you're a fan. Down. The second best tactical in Warzone 1. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this man's screen light up. Look at the watch this man's camera and look at <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> look at it. Dude, he got IRL flashed, bro. <laughs> His whole room lit up. Cause it <laughs> Like look how dark it normally is. <laughs> Oh. Dude, his whole room lit up. You might actually permanently damage their eyes. No, not Dane Cook. I can't see his bro. Bro, Dane Cook, man, getting IRL flash. Dude, watch it. You might actually permanently damage their eyes. <laughs> Dude, the fact that he got Dane Cook is so funny, bro. <laughs> oh man. Flash out. Flash out. Flash out. Flash out. I'm crying, bro. Flash out. 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 Being able to hold over eight tacticals at once creates new strats. This strategy uh. is called the decoy rat. I guess it was Hunter, wasn't it? Freaking Hunter, dude. Who is a smart play? The next strategy is the cluster rat. Cluster mine? Why the fuck do you put a cluster mine? Bro, this thing has a cluster. He actually has a cluster mine just sitting at the bottom of the floor. <laughs> Bro, you a bitch. In Warzone 1, camping loadouts made players furious. No dude, Dane Cook is suck. a funny streamer, bro. Fuck God, dude, I'm done. Really, a shotgun? You can do the same thing in Warzone 2. Fuck you! I'm in trouble. <laughs> I showed my bad tactics to the YouTuber, the Russian Badger, and he put it in a video over 4 million people saw. All this did was spread the rat tactics even farther. My homie Hunter plays on a controller and is one of the most cracked COD players I've ever seen, to the point that some of his movements appear frame perfect. Let's see what this guy does. Let's see what this guy does. <laughs> you can't plant the bombs. I keep chasing them. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god! That was like frame perfect.
perfect every bullet. Oh my god. My rat tactics have made an impact on Warzone. In Warzone 1, I got my own calling card called Warzone Story to Test Control. This was based on my Gallo SA12 video where I made my first rat appearance. Call of Duty's official website is selling rat shirts. When I got to play Warzone 2 early last year, I eliminated tons of streamers with the armored vehicle with a mounted 50 cal on it. Because of my rat video in Warzone 2, they removed the vehicle before the public could ever see it. Hello, I am Bobby Poff. I play Call of Duty Warzone for a living. What were you doing September 15th, 2022? Oh, is that COD next? I'm gonna hand you an image. You let me know what kind of emotion this image inflicts. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dude, I know exactly this picture, bro. You guys railed us. Dude, are you serious? That is insane, bro. What? That's so funny. Instantly, dude. What emotions were inflicted? I blocked that out of my memory for a while, dude. Oh my God, the truck, dude. I, I was kind of pissed that I died. Been in the God truck the whole game. I was pissed that he was in the game. <laughs> bro, whoever was in the truck, dude, absolutely shameful, dude. And I was pissed how fast I died. So I have a gift for you to make amends. I have a modern warfare 2 scented candle for you oh my god let's go i accept your wish take a smell that smells good i approve i approve i accept your apology mateo have been nerfed in warzone 2 but the rats are thriving like and subscribe for more bro what a good fucking video what a good video i've never seen this guy hunter tv i've never even heard of him before what a good video that just really wraps up Call of Duty for us today. Wow. That was good. Call of Duty's dead. Call of Duty sucks. All right, let's go play some Apex.